so let's start working on the home page okay so first we will log in add in here with the ID we created before okay password enter it let's log in in here as you guys can see there is nothing on the home screen okay so now we will implement first the mixture of two color okay a beautiful UI so we will do some box decoration and then add the linear gradient color okay so let's go ahead and do that and we have already wrote the code for this so simply we will get it from there it's also right inside the login and also in the sign up okay so we will open the login from here and we will go to a login screen dot dot okay as you guys can see in here so we will copy that decoration right inside this container okay just simply copy this from here to here okay copy it and go to the home screen dot dot in here now right inside the container paste it okay as you guys can see in here now let's go back to a login screen dot dot in here we will simply or oh it's fine like that just close this login screen dot dot okay also close this from here and now we are on the home screen dot dot okay so in here right after this box decoration in here there will be child okay and in child we will have a scaffold widget okay as you guys can see in here okay we will set the background color okay so in here we will say colors dot transparent okay there we go all good now let's press the control s and see the output okay on the home screen control s and there we go as you guys can see okay it's working fine now we will also add the app bar right in here okay right at top so for this we will simply add the app bar okay right after this background color in here we will say app bar okay app bar in here first we will say flexible space okay in which we will have a container widget okay now right inside the container what we will do we will simply add the box decoration okay and there will be that linear gradient okay the mixture of a two color so simply what we will do we will copy that decoration okay from here to here copy it okay and write in this container okay in the flexible space in here paste it okay and now we will shift the color okay so it will be kind of different from this whole color okay so in here we will simply cut this from here cut it okay and paste it right in here like this put comma and then we will add this color color pink okay so shift the color like this all good okay now press the control s and see as you guys can see in here right at top the app bar okay we just shift the colors right in here there is a deep orange okay first as you guys can see we set the deep orange with the shared 300 and then right after there is a pink and then as you guys can see in here okay now we will add a floating action button right in here one for the getting the image from the gallery or capture with the camera okay and also the other one will be for uploading it okay that image so let's go and do that okay right in the scaffold we will say floating action button 
and in there will be a work widget ok there we go right in there first we will set the direction ok it will be right in the horizontal right down in here ok so in here we will say axis dot horizontal all fine now children right in here and right in the children we will have a container widget ok now first we will set the margin ok to give a proper alignment as usual edge and set ok we will go with the dot all and in there we will go to 10 panel ok right after child and now we will go with the floating action button the first one ok for getting the image and in here we will first give the hero tag ok so it's mean it's our first floating action button ok and right after we will set the background color the colors will be colors dot we'll go the deep orange ok with the shade dot shade 400 is fine right in here now we will take the on press ok so in here we will say on press event for now we will leave this empty and later on we will create a function and in here we will call upon that in here ok for the show image dialog it will simply get the image from the gallery or the user can also capture it from the camera so in here we will add a comment so that we will remember ok so in here we will say show image dialog later on we will work on that ok so leave this as coming now and right after in here we will say child and let's set the icon ok we will go with the icons dot camera underscore enhance there we go you can choose whatever you want right in here i will go with this one ok and right after now we will add another floating action button ok for uploading that image so in here we will say container there we go set the margin first add insect we will go with the dot all set it to 10 point and right after let's set the child so now our second floating action button ok as you know now we will set the hero tag this means is our second floating action button ok it will specify that and right after background color we will set with the colors dot we will go this time with the pink ok just pink or oh, let's add the shape ok we will go with the 400 and right after let's set the on press event ok there we go and also we will leave this empty for now ok and later on we will create a function and call upon that in here and it will be for a uploading image ok so in here we will say upload name will be that ok that's fine in here so in here add the const modifier also do the edge inside the raw all good ok so as you guys can see right inside the scaffold we add the floating action button ok right inside the web so there's our code now simply what we will do we will press ctrl s and see the output ok let's go and do that ctrl s as you guys can see in here 
there as well camera for capturing the image or take it from the gallery and in here there is a upload button for it ok so in here we didn't add the icon now we will do that ok so right down in here right after this on press event in here we will say child icon ok icons we will go with the cloud underscore upload ok that one or this one is fine add the cons modifier all good and press the control as now and there we go ok so it's working totally fine for now and we add the floating action button ok for getting the image and also the upload one and in here we also add the app bar and there's a mixture of a two color beautiful UI for now so that's it for this video okay right in the next video we will work further